Hi everybody. So in this video, I want to show you how to find the transformation matrix after a rotation of theta degrees anti-clockwise in the X, Y, and Z axes. So before we begin, we need to understand the coordinates for the I, J, and K unit base vectors. We know that I travels from the origin by one unit along the X axis. And this will have coordinates 1, 0, 0. We know y travels one unit from the origin along the y axis. So we'll have coordinates 0, 1, 0. And k travels one unit from the origin along the z axis. And this will have coordinates 0, 0, 1. When we find our transformation matrix after the rotation, we find this by transforming each of these unit base vectors. So you can see that when we rotate about the x axis, every point along this line becomes invariant, which means it's rotated onto itself. So the transformed image of i will be 1, 0, 0. But the points along the y axis are rotated anticlockwise by theta degrees. So this will be our transformed image of j. We know it's still got a length of 1, but you can see its y and z values have changed. And we can find what these are using a right angle triangle, where this is our right angle. The y value will now be the adjacent length of this triangle. And because the hypotenuse is 1, this will just be cos theta. The z value will be the height of this triangle, or the opposite length. So this will be sine theta. So the transformed image of j will have coordinates 0 in the x, cos theta in the y, and sine theta in the z. And when we rotate k, so this will be our transformed image of k. We know its x value is still 0, but the y value is now negative y. This is y in the positive sense, so this will be negative y. So the y value, if this is theta, will be the opposite length. So negative sine theta. And the z value is going positively upwards. This is the adjacent length, so this will be cos theta. So our transformed image of k will have coordinates 0 in the x, negative sine theta in the y, and cos theta in the z. If I just highlight these transformed coordinates, so our transformation matrix for the transformed image of i will be 1, 0, 0. The transformed image of j, 0, cos theta, sine theta. And the transformed image of k, 0, minus sine theta, cos theta. OK? In our next example, we're going to rotate about the y-axis. So because we're rotating about the y-axis, it's easier to have it facing you. Then you can see that all the points that lie along this axis become invariant. So our transform j will have coordinates 0, 1, 0. When we rotate i, we go clockwise by 50 degrees. So this is our transformed image of i with an x value of the adjacent length of this triangle, so cos theta, and a z value given by this opposite length. But because it's below the origin, this will be negative sine theta. So the transformed images of i will be cos theta, 0 in the y, and minus sine theta in the z. When we rotate k, 
it's transformed in this point. We know the x value is the opposite length of our triangle. So this will be sine theta. And the z value will be the adjacent length, so cos theta. So the image of k will have coordinates sine theta for x, 0 for y, and cos theta for z. So the transformation matrix will be for the image of i, cos theta, 0 and negative sine theta, for the image of j, 0, 1, 0, and for the image of k, sine theta, 0, cos theta. Okay. In our last example, we're going to rotate about the z-axis. So perhaps you want to find the transformation matrix for this yourself. You can pause the video, and when you come back, we'll go through the work solution. Okay, so welcome back if you had to go. So because we're rotating about the z-axis, the k vector is transformed onto itself. So this will give us an image of k with coordinates 0, 0, 1. When we rotate i, anticlockwise about the origin, theta degrees, it's rotated to about here. We know the x value will be the adjacent length of this triangle, so cos theta. The y value will be the opposite length of this triangle, so sine theta, and the z value is zero. And this is the transformed image of i. When we rotate j, it's mapped to about this point. We know the x value will be negative. This will be the opposite length, so negative sine theta. The y value will be the adjacent length, so cos theta, and the z value is zero. So the image of j will have coordinates, negative sine theta for x, cos theta for y, and zero for z. So our transformation matrix becomes cos theta, sine theta, zero, for the image of i, minus sine theta, cos theta, and zero for the image of j, and zero, zero, one for the image of k. Okay? Well, I hope you found that useful. If you did find that helpful, please like and subscribe, and you can download the full lesson and worksheet from my website, mrmathematics.com. There's a link in the description below. Thanks again and take care.